Hello everyone. In this video, I will show how you can insert user-defined loads and assign them to the members. First of all, let's go to the Building Analysis and Load Combination Editor. Here, you will see the Load Cases button to add a new load case. In order to do this, click on the Add button. Let's say that we have a hydrostatic load case. I am going to insert the load case label and select the load case type. Load case type will be selected as a horizontal load case in our sample. Load direction can be primary which represents the X direction and or secondary for the Y direction. If you will use only a single load case, the primary option can be selected. If you would like to apply eccentricity to the load case, the eccentricity drop-down list can be used for this purpose. Lastly, in the load case editor, it's possible to use cracked sections for the desired load case. Then, let's click on the OK button. Now the load case will be seen as a column in the combination editor to insert the load case coefficients. We can click on the add button and adjust the name to define load combination and insert the necessary coefficients for each load case. After we complete the required combinations, we can click to OK button to close this window. Now I will go to the load editor to assign the loads for the load case that is previously generated. To do this, click on the loading tab and select the load editor command which allows us to insert all kinds of load types in the same interface. First, I will select the load case to insert hydrostatic pressure and assign it to the shear wall. For instance, I am going to insert a wall area load as a triangular load. Of course, the direction of the load can be changed by inserting a negative value. If you want to use the same load for the other shear walls, you can also copy the load and paste to them. When you will click on the OK button load will be assigned. In the second part, let's insert a new load case, but this time, we may assume that we have a vertical equipment load. Similarly, I am going to go to the Analysis tab. Then, the Load Combination Editor. This time, I would like to add another load case which is a vertical load case. Once more, I am going to add a load case label and description. After you select the vertical load case option, you may determine that either the loads will be considered in the building mass or they will be added to imposed loads as seen in this window. Then, let's click on the OK button and insert the load combination and its coefficients as before. Again, I am going to open the load editor only for the selected member and apply the equipment load case that we have created. You can select the point load, change its magnitude and pick a point to insert the load. You may also set the insertion points as you desire. Line load using uniform load button and area load can be inserted as well. Now, I would like to insert a line load by picking two points on the member that I want to define a load and change the position of the load by insertion points. Rectangular load is in another kind of or load that we can insert in the software. Let's insert a rectangular load by picking the corner points. With polygon area load, you can pick corner points of the area load and insert the load by right-clicking. After applying the user-defined loads, I will run the analysis to show the deformation on the shear wall and on beams that are caused by the transferred loads from the slab. When you select the displacement button and relevant load cases, which are the hydrostatic load case equipment load case in our sample, the deformations can be seen in this window. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to Proto YouTube channel to hear about our latest tutorials and videos.